I think one of the things that was interesting coming into the playoffs is we were talking about who can be, as we call it, the enforcer and kind of alluding to not necessarily a complete replica of Draymond because there's really no one quite like Draymond, as we know, Um, but kind of being that fiery guy. Um, And we saw Fox bark at Draymond a bit, I think, in that first quarter. And it just kind of seems like Fox could be that guy. And uh, Draymond, after the game, was like, yeah, he was just standing up for his guy because that was right after Keegan Murray had gotten poked in the eye by Draymond, Mm -hmm. probably pretty inadvertently. But Draymond also had said that he'd made it a point to get a technical early. So I don't know. I just kind of back to the point there. It just seems like Fox, more than just kind of being a guy that takes over on the floor, um, and we've seen his leadership really shine this season. It kind of seems like he could take that step up to be that, like, really enforcer status. For sure. I mean, just after seeing him jaw with Draymond, it was it was nice to see Fox do that. And I mean, he's by far been the best player on the court for the Kings too. And I know like there's a difference between a leader and an enforcer, but I mean, I he just seems like the guy to do it. He kind of seems like more no nonsense sometimes when he's on the court than others. And I would love to see Fox be the enforcer too, just because I feel like being the enforcer and one of the better players on the floor, it puts a lot more pressure on you. And Fox, he just, he thrives under pressure. We, I mean, we see him do it in the fourth quarter in clutch and when the game matters and in the playoffs so far, if he can put extra pressure on him by being that enforcer. And like, he was like talking to Draymond, you know, drawing with him. Like, you don't want to see like uh, Fox go after Draymond and then just like score 12 points. Such a bad luck. But no, he goes out and drops 38 on him. It's like, perfect. Like, this is the guy who should do it. And it seems like he can do it. Yeah. And I think Mike Brown wants him to do it. I mean, him or Domas. I don't remember what game it was. Maybe like near the end of the regular season. It might have been the game they lost against Minnesota where they could have clinched at home. But it was some kind of disappointing loss like that. And Mike Brown was like, it's on Fox and Sabonis to expect more of their teammates to kind of make them more accountable. Kind of with that whole uh, philosophy of having things and leadership come from within because the head coach can only do so much. So Mike Brown wants it. And I just feel like Fox can really, and he's already kind of there. He just feels like the, the closest thing to that type of leader and just a little bit of intense playoff basketball can, I think really help him kind of push along in the right direction in that regard. Yeah, I do too. It's good for him. 